Today we're going to learn at least three things. We're going to learn how to stake our coins on a network that allows us to stake and earn passive income, where to stake to get full value, we want the highest interest rates, and how validators make money, because that's also a business and in some cases you too can be a validator and you'd also make passive income that way. So all of this is going to be for the Harmony Network, but the things you learn in this video is also going to apply to a lot of other blockchains that also use proof of stake. But before we get started, gotta give the disclaimer, none of this is financial advice. Do not invest in Harmony or any other coins without doing your own research and forming your own opinion. And if you've been a subscriber, welcome back. If you're new, welcome the first time. So I make these videos just on crypto and if you enjoy it, hit the like button, subscribe, watch the whole thing. All of this just helps the YouTube algorithm. So with that said, let's get started. What is Harmony One? Now I'm not gonna jump into a deep dive because Whiteboard Crypto did an excellent video and I can't beat that. That content is way too good. If I make anything similar to it, I'm gonna take all the information from that because it has everything you need to know about Harmony One. So I'm just gonna give you the quick, uh, too long, didn't watch. Harmony One is an EVM compatible blockchain, which means you can use Ethereum dApps and it runs smart contracts. It's super fast, two second finality, and it is meant to bring harmony among all blockchains. So it is designed by nature to be interoperable. And the main focus at the moment is DAOs, decentralized autonomous organizations, and uh, a whole lot of other things. And if you want to know what I'm actually using Harmony One for, it's mostly staking, DeFi kingdoms, and Defira. These are all the decentralized exchanges and farms and just ways to earn passive income, but there's no guarantee that you'll be profitable, so don't YOLO in without doing your research. Where to buy Harmony One? So we are in Coin Market Cap. We're gonna type in one, and that brings us up to Harmony, and the coin name is called One. Then we scroll down, go into the market section, change the pair to USDT, and now we'll see all the different exchanges it's available on. So it's on Binance, Gate.io, KuCoin, Wobi, Binance US, and a lot more. If you don't already have an account, I will have a referral link in the description to an Airtable that will give you referral links and pricing and fee information for all these exchanges. Now the cool thing is some exchanges like Binance and KuCoin allow you to stake Harmony One naturally on the exchange. You can just stake it without withdrawing them. So for example, Binance has locked staking for 90, 60, and 30 days at different interest rates. Only 30 days is available at the moment while 60 and 90 are sold out. And you should be getting at least 10% in interest on your Harmony One tokens, which you'll see later if you go directly to a validator. So if it's more than that, potentially they're doing some kind of promotion. KuCoin also has it as well, but the interest rate you get is 6%, which is pretty low. Yeah, it's like 40% lower than 10%, and that's what everyone else gets when they stake directly to a validator, and we can do that too. So here we are at staking.harmony.one, and you can see all the different validators available. At the moment, there are 163 elected validators. If you pick an elected validator, you will earn interest because they will sign transactions on the blockchain, that those earn rewards, and that's how you get that interest rate. Now, there are also unelected validators. So if you see all, there is about 131 unelected validators. If you stake with them, you will not earn any rewards because they're not signing transactions on the blockchain and they aren't earning rewards, which means you don't get anything. So you do not want to stake with them. And this video has been sponsored by Pionex. With Pionex, they have multiple free crypto trading bots that help you with your crypto trading journey and all trades on the platform are 0.05% whether you're trading manually or using a trading bot. And I made multiple videos on how everything works and why it's safe and there will be a link in the description to that playlist. If you want to get started with Pionex, I do have a referral link for 20% off your trades. It's a different shirt and a different day because I messed up on one of the recordings and we're re-recording that. So before before you start staking to a validator, of course you're going to need to move those Harmony One tokens to your wallet. There's several wallets you could use like Blitz Wallet, Frontier Wallet, Garda, or Metamask. So for myself, we're going to be using Metamask because 
I like using one wallet for multiple chains as much as possible, but obviously that can introduce risk. Be careful, don't start putting out too much risk for convenience, but you know, I have multiple profiles in my Chrome account, so it makes it a lot easier to manage. So let's say you bought some Harmony One tokens from Binance or KuCoin, wherever you want, and then you have to withdraw it to your wallet. It could be any of those wallets I mentioned. We're gonna withdraw it to MetaMask. So before we withdraw those coins, we're gonna need to set up our MetaMask. And here we are, we're going to Google add Harmony One to MetaMask, cause uh, I always forget. We're gonna go to the first result and that's useless. So we're gonna go to the second result and staking bits, it should give me something about several RPCs and a domain. That's what I'm looking for. It says shared zero, but it's really shard zero cause that's like a, a server on Harmony and we are going to expand this view so we can see everything and you click this up here and add network. So this is the Harmony network, but this name is uh, whatever you want to name it. So that's going to be the Harmony mainnet. And then we are putting the RPC URL, copy that from here, chain ID, shard zero, currency symbol one, O-N-E. And then we want to add the block explorer. I'm just going to copy that link and we are going to paste it here. So hit save and now we have the Harmony mainnet on our MetaMask. You can see that my address starts with 0x, but when you're dealing with Harmony, all addresses start with O-N-E-1. But this is actually a Harmony 1 address, so we're gonna hit copy and then we're gonna go to the Harmony Explorer. So to see that, go to explorer.harmony.1 and then I'm gonna put in my MetaMask address starting with 0x and that gives me my 1 address. So my 0x address is linked to this 1 address. So up top you see my 0x address here and then my one address here and if we open MetaMask you can see that matches. Now you won't find anything on this account because it is my test account to show you how to set this up. So once you use uh, the Harmony Explorer to get this one address you can withdraw your tokens from the exchange like Binance or KuCoin. And once you have Harmony One coins in your wallet then we can start delegating them to a validator so we can start earning staking rewards. So there's a lot of things here. And as I mentioned earlier, we only want to look at elected validators. You can go by all. We see someone that's not elected, expected return. No, don't, they're not going to get any rewards. They, they aren't signing transactions. Don't look at that. You only want to look at elected validators. So that's what we're going to start with. And then we want to look at their stake. That's how I like sorting it. The higher the stake, the higher the trust. And then we start looking at the expected return, the commission and the uptime. So expected return, incredibly important. That's something we should be looking at. And it can vary between validators for several different reasons. It depends on how effectively they're using their stake. So so Binance is only getting a 1.53% return for their validators and that's because they're not using their stake effectively and we can take a look at why. Into the analytics we can look at what Binance is doing and why their return is only 1.53%. So you can see that they have slots 1 through 21, they have an effective bid of 42 million while they have a total stake of 902 million one. Let's say 902 million divided by 21 slots and they are staking 42.9 million per slot. And that's too much. You can see everyone else starts at 8 million all the way down to uh, 3.1 million. Oh, they got away with a 1 million stake. That's actually really good. So that's how they are getting that high interest, which I'll explain in a minute. So each of these slots represents a key and each key can earn rewards because a key signs transactions. So we can see that <laughs> Binance has a effective bid of about five times higher than the next person. So Binance could really be earning five times more in rewards if they split up their stake into multiple slots, but they don't do it. So they're not getting full value to get the higher interest rate. You want to look for someone that has a low bid and even as low as 1 million, as long as they stay elected, because if they go unelected in the next epoch, then 
you're not gonna earn rewards. Now, all of that sounds incredibly confusing, so let's just go back to the validators and pick one, and we'll just make it incredibly simple. Now, all of this was very, very uh, challenging to learn because it's like a whole new world for me because I never really looked into how validators work. You see all of this is like, who do I pick? Who can I trust? I don't know. Personally, I look for who has the highest stake and who has the highest expected return. And we can see that about 9.4% is about average. Uptime doesn't really matter that much when it comes to 99%, 100%, 94%. Okay, that kind of matters because if uh, they're not signing transactions because they're not up, the validator's not up, that means they're not getting rewards. So consider it like this. This gets 100% of the rewards. This gets 99.67% of the rewards at that interest rate and 99.98, 99.13. So when it comes to 99 or 100, there isn't a big difference. A validator can go offline if there's some kind of update and they just didn't keep up with it fast enough. You don't really necessarily need a 100% uptime you just have to look at that and then the expected return and then the commission. So the commission can vary depending on the platform and you can see some charge 100% which means you're not earning anything. Uh, don't pick those but you might pick them by mistake because a validator can change their commission at any time and you probably won't get a notification that they changed their commission. But uh, a validator that is trusted that has a huge stake very likely they won't do that. So that's when staking with a bigger validator has its benefits. So I learned all of this through validator.1. I contacted the guy in his uh, Telegram chat. His name is Brian. I did an interview with him. There's a full, the full interview is available on my other channel, not a financial advisor, Dan, if you want to learn in great details. It was over my head. It took a while to really absorb, but check that out if you want to understand it. If you are looking for a quality validator that supports the Harmony One network and just make sure everything is running in the best interest of the users, I would go with validator.1. That is my recommendation until I guess you start your own validator on Harmony. And now we can stake our Harmony 1 tokens to a validator by delegating it and earning 1 tokens in passive income. It's a lot of words, but basically you will be earning more Harmony 1 tokens for delegating them to a validator. And we can do that using MetaMask. So here we are at staking.harmony.1 at this website. First thing you want to do is sign in at the bottom left. We're going to use an existing address since we set everything up using MetaMask. We're going to use the MetaMask wallet. And then we're gonna sign in, brings this prompts, hit next, approve, and we're connected. So you see our Harmony One address there. Mine is censored. So now we can pick an elected validator. So it actually went down because I took a break. There are 160 elected validators at the moment. And we are gonna sort this by stake. And we wanna look for, of course, someone with a high stake low commission and an average uh, expected return that is pretty high with a very high uptime. Now, as I mentioned, I talked to validator dot one. I want to support him and I know that he is a strong member in the Harmony community. So I'm going to delegate to him. And whenever you're picking a validator, just to verify that they are still getting the highest amount of rewards, you're going to want to pick them. And then you're going to want to look at the details here. The latest expected return for this validator is 9.11%. So I'm okay with that. That is kind of what I was looking for. And the current commission is 5%. I know that text is small. So uh, let me uh, beef that up a little bit. And uh, yeah, there you go. Otherwise, uh, the, the site doesn't work too well. But uh, let's let's uh, start staking. Now, the minimum you need to stake on Harmony One is 101 coins. So we're going to stake that because it's the minimum. And uh, yeah, if you don't do that, you won't be able to stake. So let's put 99. Amount must be more than 100. So no problem there. 
We're gonna stake 100, the bare minimum, and then we are going to approve this transaction and it is gonna delegate our Harmony One coins to this validator and we will begin earning rewards in the next epoch. So you can see up here, next epoch is in 254 minutes and each epoch is about 18 and a half hours. Using Google, it is around 18.2 hours. So that is how long it takes to earn rewards. You earn rewards every epoch. And now we have the undelegate button available. So you can see we can undelegate it. We have have 100 ones available and we can undelegate as much as we want and as little as we want too. So we're going to undelegate one one. So you can see the network fee. That's kind of a standard thing. I can undelegate one one is going to cost me 0.2 harmony one to coins. You have to keep saying one. It is kind of throws me off of there. But uh, yeah, you can undelegate as much as you want. So if you need it, you can undelegate it. But but the thing is, it's going to take a couple epochs to actually have those coins back in your wallet. So here I have unsuccessfully delegated one one coins. And let's look at my portfolio. I have one pending and that's going to take a while. So let's see how long that's going to take. It's going to be returned in seven epochs and seven epochs is times 18.2 hours. Bringing up the calculator, seven times 18.2, that's 127 divided by 24. That is in 5.3 days. So anytime you wanna unstake on Harmony, it's gonna take 5.3 days. This just helps, this is just a feature within the Harmony network to make sure there's stability. So you're not just staking and unstaking and then that there's a lot of volatility in the network. This is to bring stability and Harmony to the network. And with that, you have successfully delegated your coins to the Harmony One network and you will be earning passive income on your Harmony One coins. If this video has been helpful and I'm sure very educational, I would appreciate it if you hit the like button. If you wanna support our friend Brian at validator.one, you can do that by staking your Harmony One tokens with them. If you're interested in me making a video on how to set up a validator, potentially I could do that. Setting up a validator on Harmony One is something that they want. They wanna expand the number of validators to a lot, I think, to a thousand in the future but you know that that's gonna take a while to get there and setting up a validator is another way for people to earn passive income if you host and run this validator and participate in the network you will be earning a commission on the people that delegate to your validator so that is another form of income and that's why you see a lot of different validators available for different networks. And if you wanna check out my interview with Brian, it's on my other channel, Not A Financial Advisor Dan, where I just talk for long periods of time and learn about cryptocurrency, unfiltered, I guess. And if you just wanna chat about crypto, join the Discord, link in the description, follow me on Twitter, at FullValueDan. And if you wanna learn more about Pionix and their trading bots, you can check out my Pionix Masterclass playlist here, and there will be a referral link in the description for 20% off your trades on Pionix. And with that, I hope you got your full value for today.